My name is Jasmine Blackwell. I am a 4-5 split teacher. I have been teaching here at Arlington for three years. We serve a, a very special demographic of kids. This is a low-income Title I school. Perfect, so I'm gonna have you guys get in your wildlife champion group when I say go. I know that we are all very excited. So today, we're like the old time explorers. We're going through Oak Tree Park and we're looking for signs of animals and plants and things because you all are working on a project, right? Wildlife Champions is a partnership between uh, Metro Parks Tacoma and Tacoma Public Schools. More comfortable? Yeah. And the partnership focuses explicitly on teaching the kids empathy and uh, stewardship. All right guys, let's start our expedition. We created this partnership and we got this grant so that we could help connect these kids to nature. We are co-teaching Metro Park staff side by side with Arlington Elementary teachers. It's a 41 month partnership. We started in September of 2018 and we're gonna do three full school years of this program. All right guys, welcome again to Oak Tree Park. It's a beautiful day. Oak Tree Park is a 25 acre park. It is a Metro Parks property and it's located in South Tacoma. And it is actually a very special place to me personally because I live just up the road near Manitou Park. So this is my neighborhood and my community. Oh. One of the best things to do is to actually Look without your binoculars and wait for movement. And then you can zone in on where it is and then use your binoculars. Thumbs up if you have found this world. Today we're gonna to be taking pictures of animals if we see them. We're gonna be taking pictures of nests where flowers are, are starting to, to come out and plants are budding and leaves are coming out. It's a way to capture uh, a slice of science in time. How do you know the wasp lived in there? Um, Wildlife Champions has been incredible. Oh, Having them learn about animals and plants and how the way that they live directly impacts their surroundings has been extremely enriching and educating and stimulating in ways that we can't even touch on here in the classroom. Why do you think they're spiky? Hey, what do you think this is? To protect themselves right. from being what? Eaten. Mm -hmm. Eaten. So this is probably their natural defense, right? We're already seeing some impressive and profound gains from the program. They're using words like apex predator. They're having conversations about the merits of uh, human-wildlife interaction, and they're extending that learning beyond the classroom. They're taking it back into their families and into their community. Before we started this program, Oak Creek Park to us was a little playground. Knowing that there's a natural world out there that um, we can embrace has been a big impact on the students in the community. So where does the acorn come from? What kind of tree? My favorite part about Isle of Champions is going outside and spending time with nature. When I go to Oak Tree Park, I like learning new things and also just looking at new things. I'm looking forward to next year because I already know a lot of things and I'm excited to learn even more.